Look at this, if I do an aggressive stretch here, if I pull this high point protection down, now we can do a relatively aggressive stretch, but we still have that slope up here at the top, and that means that we are basically protecting our highlights. You can see how that area here is not as overexposed. But of course, now it's a bit washed out because we haven't really done anything to try and protect our lows right now. This is actually a S curve. Right now, we only have one half of the S because the symmetry point is set all the way over here to the left. But look at this, if I move my symmetry point here, you can see how it create this S shape. And we still have the line here in the middle. So where it is above the line, that area is getting brighter. And where it is below the line, that area is getting darker. And of course, in a similar fashion, we saw how that highlight protection point here can be used to protect our highlights. In a similar fashion, we can now also have our shadow protection point that does the exact same thing but just on the other side of the S-curve. The last slider you have here is the local stretch intensity, and this just determines how aggressive this turn here is. So you can see here, I can make that very little aggressive, 